Which of these cameras is better for underwater video? In this video, we compare a GoPro Hero 7 Black to a Sony a6500 in a Seafrog's underwater housing. So this is how I'm gonna use these cameras in the water. I've got the Sony inside the Seafrog's housing. I've got the GoPro Hero 7 Black mounted on top of the Seafrog's housing. And I've got a big blue dive light here. You're gonna see a direct comparison. These cameras are looking at the same thing. Stabilization. This GoPro Hero 7 Black has the hyper smooth feature while the Sony a6500 has IBIS in-body stabilization in the camera. Now I am using a Sigma 16 millimeter lens which does not have optical steady shot. So I have a stabilized body but not a stabilized lens. So how does it compare to the GoPro? In this shot, we're swimming down the side of a wreck. You can see the GoPro on top is very smooth and you can see uh, the Sony on the bottom is getting kind of shaky. So the stabilization is much better on the GoPro. And now on to image quality. So let's talk about resolutions. Both of these cameras can shoot in 4K. However, when you shoot in 4K with the Sony, you can only shoot at 30 frames per second. So that means no slow motion, no slowing your video clips down. This GoPro can shoot 4K at 60 frames a second. So you can shoot 4K and you can still get slow speed footage from it, which is awesome. The GoPro can also shoot 120 frames per second at 2.7K. So that's an amazing resolution to get amazing slow speed footage. And at 1080, this GoPro can shoot 240 frames per second. So that means ultra slow motion footage, which is awesome. The Sony a6500 can shoot 120 frames per second, but at 1080p. So it's still high def and you do get good slow motion, but man, those specs just not as good as this GoPro. Now the GoPro on the right is a little bit sharper, everything's in focus, while the Sony on the left has the foreground and the background blurred out. So that's that bokeh effect from the Sony. Uh, I think the Sony looks a little better, especially with the colors in this shot. In this shot here, you can see these fish going. And again, the stabilization is a little better in the GoPro. Uh, I think the colors are a little better on the Sony. Look at this. Yeah, I definitely like the colors better on the Sony. Uh, the Sony, again, uh, background's a little more blurry. The GoPro, everything's kind of sharp. In this one here, okay, you can see the GoPro has that really bent horizon, curved horizon line. And the Sony has a nice straight horizon line, but again, not as stable. In this clip, we're in a low light situation. You can see the Sony on the left looks a lot better. The GoPro on the right is picking up a lot more of the backscatter and debris in the water. So the Sony does better in low light with flashlights. Let's talk background blur. When you're using the GoPro Hero 7, pretty much everything in frame is in focus, which can be nice because you're not gonna miss any shots. However, it doesn't have that cinematic and really good quality look like the Sony a6500 has. We can get incredible background blur. You can see in this clip here, the coral in the front is very sharp and in focus. And as we move over, the focus switches over to the fish and that looks really cool. I like that transition. Now let's talk reliability. I did have some freezing issues on this GoPro Hero 7 Black. Probably every fourth or fifth video I took, it would freeze up and I would have to restart the camera. So I'm a little disappointed in the reliability of the GoPro. The Sony, however, worked flawlessly. I had no issues with it whatsoever. It worked every time I pressed the button, it would record. Every time I hit the button, it would stop. It captured all my photos, all the videos, perfect. Let's talk about price between these two camera setups. The GoPro Hero 7 Black comes in at about $380 when you consider the camera and the super suit that you need to go scuba diving with. And this Sony a6500 in the Seafrox housing comes in at over $2,000 when you talk about the camera body, the lens, the housing, and the dome port. So we have a huge price difference between these two cameras. And now we're on to portability and size. So obviously this GoPro is much smaller than this Sony setup, and it, you could put this in your pocket. It's so small and light and easy to move around with. Whereas this is a big bulky setup, and we have this lens glass protruding here, and we need to be very careful so that we don't scratch it. So this is awkward to handle. It's big and it's heavy. This is small and compact. Okay, so let's sum it up. Both these cameras are absolutely incredible cameras, and they both have their strengths and 
some weaknesses too. So the GoPro is definitely much better with size and portability, it's much smaller. The GoPro runs with price, it is so much cheaper than this whole setup. The GoPro runs with stabilization, the stabilization out of this is absolutely amazing. And when we talk about the specs, I think the GoPro kind of wins too because the GoPro can shoot 120 frames per second at 2.7K and the 60 frames per second all the way at 4K. So those are the strengths of the GoPro. And this is an incredible, phenomenal camera and I absolutely love it. Now the image quality out of the a6500, I think is better. I think it looks nicer and I think with the different lenses you can get different focal lengths and just get more cinematic, better looking footage. The a6500 can also get that incredible background blur and that nice bokeh, which can also make your footage look better, more professional. I would definitely recommend the GoPro Hero 7 Black for anyone who's just getting into video and wants to get some footage with a nice looking camera. It works good, has good stabilization, and it's real portable and I think you'll like it. Now if you want to take your game to the next level, I would say in, invest in this. I mean, as far as underwater cameras go, DSLR cameras, mirrorless, this is actually a pretty affordably priced camera. The footage is amazing out of it and I really love this camera and I'm looking forward to use it more. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel for more great underwater content. Thanks again and have a great day.